to my channel. Today is a Halloween themed makeup tutorial. Um, I already have this side of my face done because I'm going to focus on this side. I'm going to create a burned skin look, zombie look, whatever you want to go for. Um, the things I'm going to use, liquid latex, tissue paper, and that's it. That's all you need. You can get, I got this at Walmart, this at Walmart, it was just like a dollar. This was nine dollars and honestly I can't even open it. It is like on there. So another thing you can use is just regular glue. This was like a dollar. It's gonna work exactly the same. So, and then I just have a variety of brushes that I don't care to get gross because the latex is gonna ruin them. And then Walmart has a bunch of those little bottles of paints, but I have this like zombie skin palette that I'm gonna use. This I think was like $9 online. I forget what the website was, but Walmart has like a bunch of the, let me grab them. I went out and bought like every single color, but there's a bunch of these paints. You can use these and they'll work exactly the same. So I have this side of my face baking. I'm just gonna leave that go and then we're gonna focus on this side. So there's no harsh edges. And then I'm just gonna crinkle it up because you want it to look like skin. And I already poured the glue into a bowl that I don't care about. So then once I get it to look how I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a brush. I'm gonna start applying it into sections because I do want to cover this whole side, but I just want to do it in smaller sections so that way I can make it look exactly how I want it. for a party or something give yourself enough time because this has to dry before you put anything on it and depending on how many layers and how thick you want it it takes a while to dry so just a heads up and I didn't do any makeup on this eye because I actually want to completely cover it to make it look like my eyeball is missing so once we get to that step I'm gonna try something out, see how I like how it looks. Now that I have all this laid out where I want it, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the inside of like these cotton rounds, all these pieces, and just stick them in random spots. One, this will kind of help soak up the glue so it dries a little faster and then it also gives you different texture everywhere so it's not just the same. Okay, so I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do this eye because I still want it to look like I have an eyeball but I want it to be completely covered. So I might do like a really thin piece, we'll see if this works, of this over top of my eye. Just uh, yeah, that'll work. I'll put a piece on the top lid and on the lower lid so that way you can still see the crease of my eye. Works for me. Okay, so I'll just lay down. And I'm not putting any latex on my eyebrow. Don't put it on your eyebrow. Unless you don't want any eyebrows. Free waxing service for you. Don't do it. But you can also put like chapstick or like Vaseline or something on there just so you don't rip off your eyebrows in case you get some latex on there so then I'm just putting this like on top of my eyebrow and then on top of my eyelid and then I'm 
just gonna go back in with some latex and put it on along the edges and kind of like pull them so that way it separates a little bit and blends in with the rest of the paper. I might actually go in with some more of the tissue paper and actually place it over top of that. Just so you don't have like this smooth round surface on top of all of this. So do that now I'm gonna put a piece like right here I'm just using my nails to like bunch the paper together that way it's not like perfect and then we'll go ahead and add all the colors and everything to it. Um, I'm just gonna go in with my favorite foundation. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Okay, now that most of that is on there, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Breeze Palette, the yellow, and I'm just using like a stippling brush. And I'm just gonna dab all over. And you kind of want to go past where you have it so that way it's going to blend a lot better. You're not going to really see where you like first put it down. black and a little bit of that brownish red and go like in on my eye just to help blend it a little bit more precise brush and pick up it's hard to see but this is like the brownish red I'm gonna put it on there and then go in and deepen some of these cracks so that way it gives it some more definition and then it also will cover up any of the white that the brush didn't get down to this and kind of outlining some of these ridges because then it's going to make them stand more forward and kind of create like a shadow underneath so you're going to be able to see the texture of the tissue paper a lot more. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this please give me a big thumbs up, share this video with your friends, tag me in it. Um, if there's anything you would like to see me recreate, go ahead and tag me in anything on Instagram. I'll try anything. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this. Um, 
I just want to go scare people. I guess I shouldn't do that with that whole clown thing going on, but I really want to. I really want to. But I don't want to get shot. So I'll take some pictures. Maybe I'll scare Dion. Should I record it? Maybe. We'll see. But again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.